The energy grid in Australia is moving away from fossil fuels at an incredible pace. Tesla is part of that. So is French company Neon, who are building a massive battery pack in Queensland. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. Energy solutions company Neon has just said it's going to make more than a billion dollars from its renewable energy portfolio next year. This shows you the incredible amount of money up for grabs. And the companies that are taking it, that are seizing it, actually, surprisingly, a lot of them are fossil fuel companies. In fact, oil companies are spending billions and billions of dollars on renewable energy because they can see the transition. They're like, well, okay, we might as well not fight it. We might as well make money from it. Energy company Neon is expanding the size of its planned Western Downs battery in Queensland up from 270 megawatts slash 540 megawatt hours from the original 200 megawatts slash 400. So they're increasing the battery pack by around 30%. Why? Well, money. If the name Neon is ring any bells, it's probably because it's one of the companies behind the Tesla big battery in South Australia back in 2017. That is one of the biggest lithium batteries in the world. But whilst it was the biggest in the world, it's now nowhere near. There's many batteries now that are bigger than it. That's in spite of the fact that it's actually doubled in size. Neon today have five lithium batteries in Australia alone with a sixth in Western Australia about to go in. And that will be one of the biggest in the world. The company has also been the recipient of a handful of contracts from the Australian Renewable Energy Agency, and it's making good money. That's why it keeps on increasing the size of these batteries. Now, one of the batteries that Arena originally provided funding for back in December of 2022, with construction to begin this year, January of this year, is getting already getting upgraded. They're already saying, you know what, let's make it bigger. The upgrade will be carried out by construction group UGL, with equipment delivered by Tesla. Often you'll find that Tesla is the supplier of battery packs to the companies who are actually running the distributed electricity network. The battery leverages the network of Neon's Western Downs Green Power Hub, which is home to what is expected to be Australia's largest solar farm with a capacity of 460 megawatts. Um, the size of these new solar farms just blows your mind. You need to see them in person. They're incredible. However, the world's biggest solar farm is actually just being built right now in Saudi Arabia, and it's gonna power by far the world's biggest battery pack. If you haven't seen my video about that project, which is absolutely insane, I'll put a link in the description. We're delighted to be expanding the Western Downs battery in Queensland, demonstrating our willingness to play an increasingly central role in Australia's rapid decarbonisation. We would like to thank Tesla, UGL and Powerlink for their hard work and ongoing commitment to delivering this project. We are thrilled to have big batteries operating or under construction in five Australian states and territories, said Neon Australia CEO. So what's the point of the upgrade? Well, it's hoped that this battery will be more important to Queensland's shift to green energy and be able to operate as a massive pika plant, getting rid of coal and gas fired pika plants, which are really expensive to operate and of course, really bad for the environment. In 2022, renewable energy accounted for 36% of Australia's entire energy production. However, it's forecast that that number will hit 90% by 2030. If you consider the incredible number of projects currently being operated in Australia, if you consider the fact that so many millions of Australians are getting solar installed on their roofs, well, I think it's very achievable. I think Australia will hit the 90% renewable energy target by 2030. Thanks for watching, my friends. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye.